hello and how are you today? I am more excited than usual. I have been waiting for this doll for so long. I, I ordered her when I ordered these two and they came in quite a while ago and this one got lost in the mail and then it took them forever. It was, it was just a whole thing, but she finally arrived and by getting this doll, I now have all of the Barbie looks, Barbies, until they make more. But I'm really excited to open this doll up. So going along with me, I'm gonna get her out of the box. Okay, so I have her out of the box. And obviously she comes with her, with a stand. They all come with a stand. It's very easy to put together. They come with their own little certificates which the first time I got one of these dolls, I was just so thrilled. It's like, oh my God, they come with a certificate. I'm in the big leagues now. So it still makes me happy when I get them. I have her up here with the other two dolls from her line, but we're going to be looking right at her today. So she is a regular height um, doll. She is on, on a made to move body. Her face sculpt is the Heidi face sculpt. And I probably said it on other videos, but in case you haven't watched them yet, the um, Barbie Looks line Barbies all are made with their very own unique face sculpt. So you will not have seen their faces on another Barbie previously, previous to their release. But they are all quite beautiful, and I'm hoping that they're going to give other Barbies these looks. So with this doll, she's got the light skin. And this red hair. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the red hair. It's very soft though. It is. It, um, I'm not feeling like product in it. It's got just a little bit of box hair, but not too bad. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to um, kind of rinse out these extra extra curls because uh, although I'd like to say that these Barbies sit on my shelf safely all the time. I have two granddaughters when they come over. You tell me how likely that is that I will let them say, yes, you can look at this Barbie, but you cannot touch it. Now this Barbie will get played with a bit. So I'd like her to not, although the girls are gentle, this is the kind of hair that, you know, it could get snarled pretty easy. So just going to prevent that from happening. And forgive my, if you're hearing my chickens in the background, one of them is very proud of herself. I'm guessing she is just now laying an egg. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I have chickens. So, anyways, right back to the doll. <laughs> so, she has, oh, look at these green eyes. I don't know if you can see them. But they're gorgeous shade of green. She has, just like the other doll, the other um, five dolls, from her from the second collection for the Barbie looks line she has dramatic makeup and once again though even though it is dramatic it is um it is classy though it's beautifully done I'd like to have the people who do their makeup come over to my house and do my makeup I would love it because yeah she looks looks great so she has some purple eyeshadow on and her eyebrows are kind of reddish brown and her lipstick is um, kind of the soft pink. And if you look, I don't know if you can see or not, but they, she has just the slightest touch of blush in her cheeks. So very nice. Another thing about the dolls from the Barbie Looks line is their eyes are not quite as big as the Barbies from the play from the regular play line. I mean, they're still, you know, good sized eyes, but they aren't as large. As I said though, she is on a made to move body and she is wearing the silver jumpsuit and it is gathered down at the bottom part of the legs. I kind of like it. I do. I kind of like it. It makes me think of the 1980s. I, yeah. And I'm, she has this black belt around the middle. I can see why they add the black belt. It breaks it up. However, I'm not as fan as fond of it. It all fastens in the back and it just has the one shoulder. She's wearing these silver shoes. They're actually quite, quite nice. 
And unlike some of the shoes that they that some of the Barbies come out with, this Barbie has a more substantial heel. What that means is it isn't going to fold in on itself so easily because some of them do. Some of the heels just go bloop. And it, yes, and you get your doll in great pose and you look around and the heel is crushed and the doll is in some funky pose. And I don't know if that ever happens to you, but it happens to me. So anyway, so on this made to move Barbie, though, that means her head can go all the way around. She has full motion. Her arms will also have motion to the side, motion up, obviously down, front and back. Okay. Her elbow also will bend, but not just a little bit, it'll bend all the way. Super cool if you want to have your doll talking on a phone, because otherwise they've got to talk like this. Have the phone here and it looks stupid, obviously, and so you don't have to. The hands also have movement. This doll does not have fingernail polish. The dolls in the Barbie Looks line have not do not come with fingernail polish or earrings, but they do come with amazing makeup. So I'll take it. I'll take it. So her upper body also moves to the side. Look at that. Isn't that cool, huh? I love that, that they can move like that because you can get so many interesting poses and it can move back and forth. So, and you can kind of twist her, you know, a little bit. Not a lot, but so her legs, she has, they can go front and back. And of course, open and round and round. So she bends at the knee and I, uh, of course I picked a knee that has the paper in it. Let me try this one. Okay, there we go. And it could go all the way back. Pretty cool. And they also have motion in their ankles. And for some of you who might think, what's the point? You know, why is that a big deal? Well, let me show you. Okay, so when you take off her foot, it can be flat. So that means you can put on the sneakers or any of those flat, the flat shoes you have, you can put them on her. And it moves like this. And so you can also put her in any heels that you have. So these made these articulated feet make it so you can put whatever shoes you have that you like, you can put them on this doll. How do you like that? I love it. I was just, I admit I was so amused. I went around looking for all kinds of different shoes to try on my first one because I didn't know that that's what it meant until I found out by, yes, by accident. Don't judge, okay? So anyway, um, but she is a very pretty girl. And I quite like her. She is from the black label line, which means it isn't the top of the line, but it is. She is made for adult collectors. Um, obviously, my, my grandchildren are not adults, but they won't be careless. I don't give them to them to keep, but they probably will play with her here. But, um, but, but look, they've played with these two dolls, and look how immaculate they still look. Okay, they're very careful. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is... I do want to rinse out her hair, so I'm going to give her a little bit of a makeup job, I mean a little bit of a makeover, try on some different clothes, and um, see, get an idea of um, what you'll look good in. Be right back. Okay, so I washed her hair and conditioned it. I washed it in hot water. And um, I did that, I kind of dunked her hair a few times. I did not want to make her curls go away. I just wanted to loosen them up so they wouldn't become a big mess. I think this is a good happy medium between no curls and some curls because this girl should have curls. I mean, she was meant to. So anyway, let's get on with her fashion show though. Mm -hmm.
think that concludes our review of Barbie looks number 11. <laughs> I had to double check the box. The red-headed doll. And um, I hope you enjoyed some of the different looks I put together for her. Please um, leave in the comments which, which ones were your favorites, if you had one. And so anyway, thank you very much for stopping by. Stay safe, stay happy, and goodbye!